Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, the old shop teacher, and this is short subject number 15 entitled, What is a Bullnose Center, also known as a Pipe Center? Now, I have 14 other short subject videos if you like this type of content, and I will put the link in the description for the playlist for that if you want to pursue it. But let's take a detailed look at what these are and what their purpose is. You might want to buy one or make one. If you are turning down a piece of pipe or tubing that is rather long, you have to support it some way. So the ideal way is with the pipe center just pushed up against, and this is a ball bearing type. They're not all ball bearings. Some of them just have a, a friction bearing, or you might have to use grease on them. And that will very adequately support the work as you turn it down. If you are going to turn down a piece of smaller pipe or tubing such as this, you can just use a regular live center to work quite well. Remember now that common pipe like this is welded and there will be a seam so you have to use either your pipe reamer to clean that up or a little grinder or something and the end must be square on the tubing. not. I don't know if you can tell how crooked that is from being saw cut. So either you have to face it or in the case of this one, I sanded it so it's perfectly square and then removed the burr with this. So that's pretty important. Now this is the one that I just demonstrated in the lathe and it is ball bearing. Number three Morris taper and it will handle tubing anywhere from one inch up to two and a half inch. Now they make these much larger and much smaller so there's a complete variety of these if you look in the catalogs. You can see that it's a ball bearing center. I suppose they truncated it here for production purposes or whatever but you might run into ones like this and I'm not really sure if we would call this a dead center, a large dead center, or if it is, in fact, uh, meant to be a pipe center, I've used it for that. However, it is not ball bearing. It's not just frozen. You might say, well, it's just stuck because it's old. No, it's all one piece down there. So if you were to use something like this, you would have to use high pressure lubricant. It would work. But remember, the tubing or pipe is only resting on a very small portion of that if you were to see a cross section of it. So the oil or grease would probably quickly dissipate. It may not look like it, but this is a 60 degree center, the same as this, which all standard centers are. It's kind of deceiving from the looks of it here. And I used to have a really big one at the high school, but again, it had, it had a bronze bushing in there and no thrust bearing. So maybe it was made in Pakistan or something, you know, where they didn't get it. These are called cup centers. This one is ball bearing. It's brand new but it feels rough and that's a number two more taper. Here is another one very similar, probably the same company but again it's not ball bearing. Never been used but it would have to be greased thoroughly. They look exactly the same at first glance don't they? And here's a slightly smaller one that is ball bearing. You can even see the bearing on the back side and you could make one and I'm going to show you how here in a few minutes although I, I'm not actually going to do it because I don't need one. Well what is the purpose of a cup center? It, well it, they're really meant to hold round stock that has no center hole in a manner like this and that would revolve so you wouldn't need any lubricant but this would also work for small diameters of tubing. These are made in different sizes too. However, if you were using this type of cup center, you would not have the ability to turn all the way to the end of the work. Actually, it would look like this. This would go in the tailstock, not the headstock. I just ran across this little advertisement in a 1948 Mechanics Illustrated from South Bend, and they are showing there are three different sizes of pipe centers. Don't you wish you could still buy them for that price? 
Here's another ad in the same magazine by South Bend. You were able years ago to buy arbors like this. So this was a machinable one. I had some of those at the high school. They had a Morse taper on one end and it was soft steel so you could turn the other end to whatever diameter you want for whatever purpose or thread it and so on and that would be a handy item to use if you're making your own center of some kind or other product. So, and they came in different Morse taper sizes. Maybe they're still available, available from big companies, I do not know. What prompted me to produce this particular video? Well, I was just reading through a 1948 Mechanics Illustrated magazine and I ran across this article on how to build one and I'm going to put all kinds of still pictures of this at the end of the video even uh, including dimensions should you want to read it because I doubt you will ever be able to find this any other place and I hope I'm not breaking a copyright law but it's so old I don't think that it is a problem but it is entitled Tailstock Pipe Center it's just a one page article well, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of text in this article, just one paragraph here, but a drawing down here that is dimensioned. So, again, I will take a still picture of each one of these pictures, this paragraph, and the drawing if you are interested. I'm not sure why, but this cone on the end here is turned to 45 degrees instead of 60 and you know what I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference but in the very end here well let me zoom in this is a pretty good size center in fact it's four and a half inches you could make this taper any Morse taper that you wanted to matter of fact I can't even read here oh that's a number two but notice that there's two bearings here they have installed a round singular ball right here as the thrust bearing and also another bearing is employed here I believe it to be a needle bearing I doubt anyone will ever make this but I just thought that you might find this interesting because if you were to buy this and it was American made I'm sure before five hundred dollars I'm not sure if they have them available as Chinesium Take the time to read the text here, although there will be a still of it. And thank you to Will Thomas, who would be long, long dead. Watch for future videos where I talk about this little speed reducer that could be used on a bandsaw or maybe a drill press as well. It's pretty awesome. I just bought it at Arnfest. I had just the center like this, just the cone, kicking around the shop here for 20 years and I spent about an hour looking for it and I don't know what happened to it but I think I either sold it on Pete Bay or maybe at Arnfest because it's gone. Okay, this is a piece of 2 inch OD DOM tubing and if a fellow was to do some type of external turning or facing operation or whatever, not facing so much, just simply put the pipe center into the tailstock, lock everything, and you're ready to turn. Can you see how true that runs? Pretty nice addition to your shop if you do not have one. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. If you liked the video or so inclined, give me a thumbs up or a like or whatever you call it. It helps the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Be sure and watch my 14 or 1300 other shop videos. Lots of still pictures at the end.